I'm Philip Norman and uh, the, my piece is called When Gravity Fails um, and it's uh, composed for orchestra and viola solos. It's a uh, three movement work uh, and each of the movements were drawn from particular areas of um, my composing life. The title uh, when Gravity Fails is, must be very puzzling for anybody coming across this piece because it's the name of the collection of viola works that I put together and it's the title I gave to the very first one of these viola pieces. So there's really no uh, relationship between my mini concerto and that except for the fact the pun on gravity as in gravity uh, seriousness um, and in this case seriousness has failed and we revert to some humorous pieces, so that's where that came from. Uh, but the original title actually did make a lot of sense. It was uh, the first piece was based on a a, uh, a song I had uh, uh, written as a song medley uh, of lyrics by Margaret Mahi, and one of them she had called my sister, and the her poem went something like, uh, "My sister's remarkably light; she can float to a fabulous height. It's a troublesome thing." but we tie her with string and use her instead of a kite. Uh, and I thought, well, when gravity fails, it's a, an obvious uh, um, title to stem from that. So uh, we didn't use my sister, but the first one of the three pieces is uh, uh, I've called Fling a Mango Tango. Uh, and it was from the same medley of songs that the one, the poem I've just read, all about the flinger mango being a wily bird and dances a tango. And, uh, and his foxtrot's quite absurd, that sort of thing. So it's uh, an excuse for a lot of orchestral colour, uh, a tango rhythm, obviously, uh, and to have a lot of fun. The inner movement uh, we chose, uh, Brian and I chose uh, for it, was called Evening Romance, which came from uh, a, uh, a suite of mine at the park, which I did in the middle of the 90s. And shortly after doing that, I transcribed it for Easy Piano, and my older children enjoyed playing it because it just falls so simply under the hands. And uh, that's where Caroline knew the tune, and um, she was able to play it on a viola in that viola version arrived from there. And the third one, third movement, is called Isla's Blues. Uh, my oldest daughter is called Isla and she was studying the flute uh, and enjoying jazz flute and um, getting into improvisation and what I did just to help her on the way is wrote out an improvisation of a B-flat blues just for her to practice. And... Mm -hmm. 